Have you ever had a graphic element that you wanted to change the color of, but maybe you don't have the right software to change the color, or you tried to upload the graphic to Canva, but you weren't really able to change it from there? If your graphic is an image file like a JPEG or a PNG, generally it's not easy to change the color of it. You might be able to make some adjustments to it, but getting the exact color isn't simple. But today I'm going to show you the simple Canva hack to change the color of any element, and you can even specify the exact hex color that you want to change it to. And it's available on the free version of Canva, so anyone can do this. Let's get into it. Okay, so like I said in the intro, we're going to use this software called Canva. And if you haven't used it before, it's basically just a really simple free online design software. I just said it was simple, but actually it's pretty advanced if you want it to be, but it's also great for just creating really easy and simple graphics. And it does a really great job of helping us update the color of our graphics or images. So if you are new to Canva, you'll just want to start by creating a free account and then clicking create design and that's where we're going to upload the graphic you're trying to change the color of. If you do know how to use Canva already, you can kind of skip past this step and we'll get into changing the colors in a second. So click create a design. I'm going to just choose Instagram post square for this example, but you can choose whatever size you want to or you can add in a custom size. So once this is open, you're gonna see this toolbar on the left side and this is basically where you can do anything in your document. And Canva is really fun because it comes with lots of templates. You can upload your own images. You can add text. And one thing I really, really love about Canva is the elements feature. So this is where you'll find lines and shapes, graphics, stickers, photos, videos, audio, like so much cool stuff you can use here. And a lot of it is included within the free plan. And if you sign up for the pro plan, you get tons more. So if you're a small business owner or DIYing design in your business, Canva is a really great investment. Now, if you've used Canva before, you probably know that if you use a lot of the graphics that Canva provides, a lot of them have the built-in ability to change the color. So for example, when I click on the sticker here, you can see in the top left, the blue, the pink, and that beige color, we can actually change them. So there's a built-in ability to be able to change the colors of a lot of the graphics. But if you use something that is more photo based, like a flat image or JPEG or a PNG or something that you want to upload yourself. So if you do have any graphic elements that you want to upload and change the color of, you'll see instantly that you won't be able to change the color of it. So I'm going to click on this graphic here and I can instantly see up in the top left, there's no ability to change the color. What it does say is edit photo. So those are the two differences. If you can change the colors, you're going to click on it and see those colors that are able to be changed in the top left. If you cannot change the colors, and if you're working with like a flat JPEG or PNG, it's going to say edit photo. And so I'm going to show you how to actually change the color of one of these flat images. So anything that says edit photo, you can do this too. The results might be a little bit different depending on if you're using like a full on photograph, like with lots of different elements in it. Or if you're using a graphic, the effect probably works better on graphics, but it still does work with any type of photo. So click on the element you want to change the color of, click edit photo, then you're going to scroll down and you're going to scroll across and you're going to click on duotone. You'll instantly see lots of different colors now that you can choose from. So if there's something here that you like and you want to go with that, just click on it and it will apply for you. But if you click on custom, you can also add your own color. So click on this color square here and you could program in your own hex color or choose something custom from the menu. So now you can see that this is looking a little bit darker than this color and that's due to the shadows. So there are highlights and shadows and this kind of has to be the case for images because in images there's usually a lot of variation. So it's actually really good that we have both of these because it keeps that tonal variation within your image. But if you did want it to be completely the one color, I'm just gonna copy this hex code and paste it here. And now you can see that that whole image has been saturated with that single color because I've added it to highlights and to shadows. But if you do wanna keep some tonal variation in there, you could just sort of create a darker blue color. You can play around with whatever you want. The cool thing about this is that you can just change your PNG or JPEG or image to one single color. So this is a really great way to edit elements that you could potentially only edit in something like Photoshop or other advanced or expensive software before. 
Canva is amazing. It has so many great features that are free. I also highly recommend the pro plan if you are DIYing a bit of design in your business, but it is as simple as that. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to check out this one because you'll probably enjoy it too. Make sure to subscribe because we put out new tutorials every week. So I will see you in the next one.